breakfast and I'm one of the owners of Quinta La Rosa along with my sister Sophia. We are situated in the heart of the Dura region. In 92, um, we came across uh, an Australian who was working for one of our neighbours and he was an Australian winemaker, not a port maker, but he was only making port. And in 92, we had some excess grapes, so we decided that we would try and make some table wine. And we were one of the first, the pioneers, on making table wine in the Dura region. From that day forward, it's, as they say, the rest is history. We started with 15,000 litres of table wine in 92, and last year we produced over 300,000 litres of table wine. being five or six at the time I first got into Lagar and started treading the grapes and it's just been part of my life, it's part of my emotion, my heart is in the Douro, my heart is in, in the wine. We want a wine that we're proud of, that we feel it interprets the region. We're trying to capture the terroir of this, of this region. Now, People say, what is terroir? Terroir is the soil, it's the, it's the climate, it's the aspect, but it also goes further than that. It's the way that we have the passion, the way we make the wines. We're always trying to push the boundaries, we're always trying to produce a better wine. We're a great believer in using indigenous grape varieties. We do not use Cabernet Sauvignon, Sierra. we use Tariga Nacional, we use Rorige, we use um, Tariga Franca. Um, the old traditional port grape varieties we use for port, but we also use them for table wine. We believe that treading port in old fashioned granite tanks is the best way. The action of the foot on the grape can't be emulated by a machine. And therefore, we keep that because we believe that is the best. We are trying to balance the old traditional methods with the new methods and taking the best of both. 